Today, we will be creating a sticker sheet that requires no printer, no sticker paper and no drawing skills. Let's start the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. For this sticker DIY, you guys are going to need a 4 size paper or any clear white paper, wax paper or parchment paper, clear tape, pen, marker, colored pencil. And you're going to need any phone or iPad with some images that you plan to create into stickers. For my images, I choose to make Sanrio food sticker. I'm going to use a piece of my wax paper to measure it out. To make sure I want my stickers to be that size. Once I have my size figured out, I'm going to place my clear paper on the top of the iPad device I'm using to trace images on. Then I'm going to use my pencil and trace all the images to make sure I get the exact image into my paper. You guys can find any other images on Google. If you like you can draw your own designs. You don't need to be an artist to create a great sticker design. Once you've traced all your images, remove the paper from your phone and start outlining your designs. I'm using black pen but you can use any color or tool you prefer. While outlining the images please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Your support really helps and it means a lot to me. Now, I'm adding colors to make the images brighter. Even if you're referencing something, feel free to tweak it and make it your own as you add color. This is Pompompurine, one of my favorite Sanrio characters. Here's Hello Kitty on a cute spoon and another Hello Kitty as milk. Kuromi is a cake. And my melody is a yummy ice cream. Remember, you can use any colors you like, they don't have to match the reference picture. This is Panda Apple as a delicious sushi. Cinema Roll, another popular Sanrio character, and now a pizza. Here we go. Remove all the images by cutting them out. So here are the cut cute little stickers. I'm going to take my wax paper and place a piece of tape on it, sticky side down. On top of the tape, I'll arrange all my cute little stickers. Then, I'll place another piece of tape over the stickers, sticky side down, and press firmly to remove any bubbles or wrinkles. Next, I'll peel off both layers of tape with the stickers sealed between them and cut out each sticker, leaving a border of tape around each image to keep them intact. The stickers should look like this. I'll repeat this process for the remaining stickers. Yes, we are done to make stickers. For a fun, optional touch, I'm going to create a label for the top of my sticker sheet to make it more presentable. I'm getting the label ready for my stickers by adding some colorful touches and doodles along the edges to create a cute design. Once I've finished decorating, I'll cut out the label and cover it with clear tape. 
It's important to make sure the tape is slightly larger than the label itself so it can stick securely to the wax paper, holding everything in place nicely. This extra step ensures the label stays put and gives the overall presentation a polished look. Next, place the finished stickers on the wax paper, and voila! Our stickers are ready to use. I'll try them out on my notebook to show you how well they work. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful.